All right. Oh, we get a message and we're live. <laughs> so, um, great. Hi, guys. We were just talking. Um, today, we're going to do a reading activity about school in the 50s. And I'm going to assume that neither of you are 70 years old, so no one knows about this topic today, right? No. It's a new topic. Okay. Um, well, the computer is quite slow at uh, responding. It says it's not going to open right now. We... Excuse me, that's my work phone and no one ever calls me on that. Um, that's a number I called earlier today, I believe. So we, no, it's a different number. Anyway, so if they call back, I'll just ignore them again, as <laughs> I can't do two things like this at the same time. So this document has opened. That's great. And it's partially in Spanish in an area. So we're doing wonderful. All right. First, before we um, get into the reading activity, what do you think we're going to find in this? Do you? I mean, do you think schooling has has changed in the last 70 years or not? We'll start there with the opinions. <clears throat> yes, of course. School is <laughs> improved and a lot of change. Okay. And how? Uh, how? Um, Do you think it's like the way of teaching, the, the syllabus, the information that they teach? What do you think... It is. Uh, about uh, computers, internet, uh, media, uh, media. <clears throat> you know, uh, before many, many years, we have also only books. We teach uh, in the book, on the mm -hmm. blackboard, and uh, um, in the classroom, in the school. Mm -hmm. But today, but today, you have computer, internet, and everywhere in the world, you can study what you want. Yeah. Um, but it's every, not exactly, you can't study everything you want, for example, all the time, because there's still that basic information that we need. <clears throat> so that's, I mean, but once you get older, of course, you can study whatever you want. So, um, do you think that the, I think they're called requisites, or like the basic classes, do you think those have changed? Oh, good question. Yes, we, 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 we now, <laughs> uh, is new technology, and, uh, but we also have basic information. Okay, okay. Yes. Good, thanks. Ken, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it changed because society changed, so uh, a lot of things changed, I think. I don't know the 50s in, because I, I, did, I, I, I was not exist, I didn't exist at that yeah, time. So, but uh, <laughs> according to the, you know, the movie or old TV or something, and uh, actually 60s is a big turning point. Society changed a lot in 60s, you know, mm -hmm. all of a sudden. I, remember the student activity was vital at that time and uh, also hippie appears such thing so society changed so and okay. then my generation came and and i went to the uh, middle school for my teaching practice and i even though the society and how can you say relationship teacher between students is more flat flatter than Flat than flat, I, flat. I mean, uh, how can you say? When when I when I was in the middle school, teacher is a bit above the student, but now teacher and uh, student is sometimes like a friend. Okay. The yeah. Student the teacher is more kind of friend. Sometimes friendly, but sometimes mm -hmm. you know. So, so it's more of, of an like, informal situation now. It's uh, not as formal uh, or as strict as before. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Also, maybe lecture type, you know, as Bob, uh, uh, Bob says, and, you know, kind of internet or computerization change, uh, uh, maybe uh, how to teach 
So mm-hmm. yeah, my dad was class a lot. And and maybe in the past, maybe most of the class like a lecture, lecture style, but now maybe more community class. In terms of English teaching here, yeah, we, uh, at that time, educational ministry require English teachers to uh, communicative class, to be communicative. So mm-hmm. I, ha- I sometimes I, mean, uh, pl- I uh, had made a game to play in English for, for students. I divided the student for four, four people's group. It, so yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, I've never experienced in English, uh, you know, learning when I was in the middle school. I mm-hmm. teach just speak and play the uh, native speakers recording to listen or such style. But mm-hmm. now it changed. Yes. Exactly. So do you think it's, I mean, a positive thing or a negative thing that the schools are more informal now? Mm, I think basically it's positive because, you know, and uh, maybe society is, is kind of uh, maybe society requires us to be more flexible, you know. So also uh, as a student, maybe uh, dom- dominative teachers is very frustrated, frustration. And now, but uh, sometimes some students, uh, you know, it's a bit out of control. It's uh, Nowadays, uh, being a teacher is a very stressful job, actually. Hmm. <laughs> actually. Do you think it was more stressful before or not? Maybe stressful, uh, yeah, than before. Because okay. before, um, student parents somewhat, you know, kind of, how can I say, uh, respect teacher. But nowadays, respect, yeah. yeah, some parents uh, uh, complain to a teacher a lot, uh, even though it could be their family issue, but uh, they just complain to the teacher. That student, uh, Parents is called monster parents. So, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, also the requirement. So, teaching style is is much diverse than ever. So, mm-hmm. uh, teaching job itself uh, requires more job to teach. Us. So it's yeah. It's, uh, so Just more complicated teaching, with exactly. more things to teach or different. Right. Um, dynamics of a digital board versus, you know, a blackboard or a whiteboard or, right. you know, um, games versus lecture or tests and how you actually see the levels. Yeah, no, I think it is it is a lot more complicated now, but I also think it's better because in my perspective, when I'm teaching someone in, in person, uh, mm-hmm. what I do is we'll start with one thing, then we'll go to a different topic, then we'll go to a different topic. In that mm-hmm. way, the class doesn't seem so long. That way it doesn't seem so boring. And both student and teacher are happy because, you know, it went fast. And that's good if the class goes by mm-hmm. fast because it means that they were at least enjoying it. And they weren't like, oh, when is this going to end? Okay. Mm-hmm. So in my opinion, I think it's good that they do have, a, that we do have a lot of sources these days, but also, yeah, can put a lot of pressure on the teacher to to use different media and things to keep the children in or students I should say engaged. Um, so I think it depends. Um, L, I'd like to ask you as well. Um, today's class is about um, school in the 50s. Now none of us know what that's like, but um, we're comparing school from before to now. So do you have any opinion? Okay, in the 50, yes, I, I think 50, I can, I can compare. You can. <laughs> because I was one in the city. Okay. Because it's so close. Yes, I think it's, it's a lot, has a lot of change. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. For example, like uh, now today we have technology, like internet. If you want to find some information or if you want to do your projects. Uh, in in those days, we have to go to the libraries. Mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, consume, it's time consuming. And now today, if you, we have now, we have internet, we can do, we can get 
information whatever you whatever you want you just if you have a home internet it just it's easy it's very convenient yeah extremely convenient yeah extremely convenient mm -hmm. yes all right good and well, then and another then... thing another thing mm -hmm. is language i can tell in my country right now because now now the shouldn't speak english so no yeah um, do. better than my 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 age better than well my that's age. normal i mean that's happening here in spain too people who are teachers now yeah. um, are struggling to continue their english language and to, because now mm, the schools are requiring at least a b2 if not c1 level mm -hmm. it's extremely high Mm -hmm. um, and so children, I'm working with a girl who's eight. She turned eight in September, I think. So eight, nine years old. Um, her pronunciation is going to be amazing because yeah. I've been working with her for three or four years now. So yeah. when she repeats everything, it's so funny because she can get that. She mm -hmm. repeats just like my American accent. It's so funny. She, well, my teacher says it like this. I'm like, well, your teacher speaks British English. <laughs> so, you know, just, you know, this is different, but it's the same word. So. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. And then, like, right now, the world is so small. Mm hmm Because of internet. In those days, in my days, wow, I don't know. Oh, if, I want to go to Europe. I want to go to, I because I'm, I want to see the world. But this day, you can go online. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And you can walk in the streets with Google Maps, and yeah. then you can go inside places even. It's just incredible we, what you can do with the internet. So I completely yeah. agree. The internet has completely changed everything about teaching and, and our daily life. I mean, come on. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to do these classes, for example. Who's, um, who's, who's invented internet? Do you? Who's I... Invented? Fred, someone did, but he he basically gave it away for free because, I mean, we pay for the service from a company, but the internet as a whole, someone just said, here, take it. Uh, may, may, may I? Yeah, sure. Ken, please uh, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, I, I learned uh, kind of from sociological te uh, you know, teacher, professor, and he, Maybe that that person invented maybe British guy or something. Yeah, invented. Yeah, he oh, really? appeared the Olympic opening ceremony or Olympic. Also, uh, how is it spread? Was it spread? An American remittance uh, network is used that technique. Also inside inside military, you know, network. So it's intentionally made. Uh, there's no career center because if the Korea center exists, it's vulnerable to be attacked. So that's why internet is a network without Korea center. And then maybe it's 1970 or something, America immediately released this network for on public. Mm -hmm. That's the original, uh, yeah, this network called oh. internet. Awesome. Yeah. So I was reading, there's two inventors. It's Robert E. Kahn and Vint Cerf. Or curve? I don't know. Beatrice? I'm sorry? Is, is, uh, is he British? I'm trying to look. It says something. Um, it says they incorporated something from the French. <clears throat> but I think Ken might be right. Um, the original is in several computer science laboratories in the US, UK, and France. But this was in the 60s and 70s. So this is quite old but i think you're right i think i i read something about england um and the invention being there but he never like charged mm. anyone if not we would charge a lot right. we would be charged yeah. a lot more for the right. internet um so i appreciate him yeah <laughs> i know right <laughs> yeah for allowing us to that's why we are today i'm sorry Al? Right. what did you say that's why we are here today. Exactly. So thank you, Internet Inventor. <laughs> um, and what we're going to do is actually just get started with um, the PowerPoint I have. 
I just want to review some school subjects first before this, and it's something we've looked at before a couple of weeks ago or months ago now. All right, so let's see. It looks like you can see this now. So it's basically, um, uh, what is this? Not a resume, so a summary, no. Review, that's the word I'm looking for. Okay, it's definitely Monday. So um, there's no pictures, obviously, there's these words. So uh, um, particles, what's, we have particles, war, globe, and sport. So which words go where? I think we, we, we did this already. I know we did. This is oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Then we'll get okay. to the other part. Oh, okay. So, which uh, chemistry, PE, geography, history for particles? PE, what? PE, what? PE, P, what is a what is a PE stand for? Oh, you don't remember, L? Didn't we do this already? Ah, okay. Ah, this is <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what P is? I think the first one should should be chemistry. Chemistry for particles. I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> okay. What about war? Where would we learn about war? History. All right, I would agree with that. And globe? Geography. Oh, thanks, Rob. <laughs> so this last one, sport, is going to be PE because it means physical education. Oops, 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 too far. Okay, physical education. <clears throat> okay. Um, so now we have these. We have art and design, math, biology, and physics. So we have a pylon, calculator, drawing, and human body. Give you some time to think. Anyone want to start with pylon, for example? Picture of pylon. What is physics? Physics? physics. Yes. <laughs> Did you answer like Jeopardy? What is physics? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you watch Jeopardy a lot? Or <laughs> my husband, <laughs> my that's husband, really his favorite. <laughs> that that's extremely funny. Um, physics. Uh, I can't remember if it's physics or biology. Can I call a friend who who can help me with this? No one. I think, uh, physics. Because, you know, I think uh, another option must to, wait a moment, Hello. wait a moment. Yeah, must to uh, the kind of. Yeah, bio, right. okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> biology. So, process, process yeah. of elimination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but okay. I don't know the pylon, though. Well, I'm looking at it, it says it's a structure used for carrying electric cables. So it's like the, the electric cables in the United States where it on the top of the the, po the wooden post. Mm, okay. So, yes. What about a calculator? Mathematics. Exactly. Thanks, Bob. Drawing. Art and a drawing. <laughs> what? Hello? Anyone? <laughs> Art and design. Art and design, and so the human body is? Uh, biology. Exactly. Mm -hmm. right. So now we'll go to the reading. Um, so we might have to divide this in parts. Now, I don't think I can make this any, I can make this bigger. Uh, so many two, so we'll go to 100% maybe. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I'll try and separate this as best as possible. <clears throat> so we're going to read a text about a girl who went to school, oh, in the 1960s. Uh-oh. Well, now we'll have to, we have a difference of opinions because this is 50s. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So in some year, and answer the multiple choice questions. Uh, oh, don't, don't look, close your eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> so what we'll do is maybe I'm thinking. Ken, I'll have you read this first little part, okay? Okay. It's been about 40 years since I was at school, so I hope I can remember a few things about the different subjects in art and designs class. I remember trying to draw an object and paint it. I think it helped me with my creative side. I got me re it got me ready for fashion college when I was older. Okay. So in this part, any questions about vocabulary structures? No, for me. Okay. No, for me too. All right, that's fun. So I just want to ask you, it got me ready for fashion college. What is get ready for? What's another kind word of, you use? Maybe it made me, made me ready for. Okay, I, I have a different word in mind, but yes. Prepare me for. Mm -hmm. Prepare. Prepare. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what I would say. This is just like, oh, I have to get ready and then I leave. So get ready is prepare yourself, I guess, if you want to use it a little bit differently. Um, <clears throat> but yes, it prepared this person for fashion college. Um, let's see, what I'll do now is, Bob, I'll have you read this, okay? Yes, okay. I also loved maths because I was quite good at it. I think we learn all the basics like uh, subtraction, addition, division and multiplication and maybe something about percentages and pie charts but I can't remember this very well. Uh, physical education was my favorite subject because I really enjoyed running and jumping. All right. Well, thanks, Bob. Any questions here? Uh, Hi, Charles. I was going to ask that question. Do, do any of you know the answer, what a pie chart is? I know. You know? Yeah. Can you tell us? It's a chart. It's a chart like a, a, if you do math, if it's a, okay, it's a, <laughs> it's a chart not like that a, easy. <laughs> not that easy, yeah. It's a chart that look like a, mm, it, it, it's the same chart, like a like a, a line, line go to if compared to the year or whatever you want to compare the year and the money this year, this year, how much you use this year, 2011, something like this. And the, the pie chart, the live you go to, oh, I don't know how to explain <laughs> like a, like I a, see where you're going. You're doing okay. <laughs> I mean, I can help you, but Ken, do you know what a pie chart is? Uh, it's a chart, a yeah. kind of pie-like circle chart. <laughs> you can't really use the same words when describing it. Oh, <laughs> uh, the circle, circle <laughs> chart. Chart, you know, chart, circle chart shows a percentage or something. Exactly. They often use, yeah, see that. Pie no, chart. that's pretty good. Yeah. A pie chart basically is a circle, okay, because it looks like a pie, which is what we eat. And um, depending on, yes, the percentages of something, it is... Oh, how do I say this? A percentage of <laughs> the pie chart. Would you want to use some another word of chart? How how can I, how can a I, chart um graph? It's kind oh, of oh yeah 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 right 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 right, right, right. okay now a I bar it. graph is really mm. the correct way mm. to use graph, but mm -hmm. it's a picture that shows us percentage yeah, yeah, yeah. of something of what we're studying or what we're comparing. For example, um a during the day, how much time do you spend eating? How much time do you spend watching TV? How much time do you spend getting ready? You know, things like that. And you say 50% of the day I'm working, well, 50% that'd be 12 hours. <laughs> so probably not that much. 
but let's say um 40 percent of the time you're working then 20 percent of the time it takes you to to eat then you have another 20 percent you know and so you can see this and how big the triangles are that represent the percentages you should have you could have information first and then you can get the 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 chart exactly chart, chart. <laughs> yeah otherwise and you cannot you cannot do you cannot do the chart <laughs> it's very difficult to pronounce <laughs> that's chart. okay chart 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 so chart. um bob do you know what that is now <laughs> yes yes of course <laughs> okay so we described it well enough that bob understands that's important all right, and I don't think I have any other questions. So, Al, could you read the rest of this, please? Okay. Can you move move up, move up a little bit? Please? I don't know if I can. Okay, I couldn't see I the, the the two. I can't. Oh, okay. It's gone. <laughs> okay. In science, I only remember doing chemistry in the lab, something with a Bunsen, Bunsen burner, but I was quite scared of it. I really didn't like science in general. It's a shame I can't remember more. Knowing what I know now, I think I would have done extremely well at school. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> so let me read. I was copying and pasting that into the other part. Um, questions? Barn. Barn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know the burner, but buns Bunsen. Mm. I just yeah. It's I think the name of the inventor probably like most things. It's um a little gas burner. Like mm. it's it basically gives you heat in a lab. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I got it. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um and then I had a question about the word shame. It's a shame. What's that phrase mean? It's a shame. It's it's a shame. It's like um, it's a shame. It's something that you that you feel bad that you can remember something. You feel bad. It's a shame of you, like. Yes. So it's a shame. Uh, oh, it's sad. Mm hmm. Sad. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um. Any other questions? No. Okay. No, Bob, do you have any other questions? No, no, clear. All right. So basically, what do we understand from the whole text? What is what's really going on? What does this person tell talking, us? Talking about the education forty years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. and a little summary um so if she or he or she we we don't know um talks a little bit a little bit about all of the things that were going on and one thing i thought was quite interesting is um talking about math because i think we learned only the basics like subtraction addition division and multiplication um and then you know the percentages and pie charts so there's really not a lot compared to nowadays that we have like the decimals and fractions and algebra and a lot of other different types of math. So as we continue in life and things change, we are discovering new um, equations or relationships between things, percentages, and, and um, we're able to, I don't know, what was we're able, I can't even know what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> we're able to um, measure things correctly. For example, I read something that a couple um, said that um, they won the lottery because of a simple math equation. Well, simple, I don't know if it was simple, but a basic math equation. So they won the lottery because of math. It wasn't because they got lucky. It was because they knew they were going to win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can predict things because of math now. And so, you know, as we get older and smarter and wiser, more information is, is becoming known to us. And so we're continuing to develop more difficult math situations. So, de -de 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 yep. Oh, sorry. One more subject nowadays, computer programming. It's 
it has started in the class, kind of mandatory class nowadays in the, even the elementary school. Uh huh. Exactly. No, I mean they're really kids these days are really learning advanced things. Yeah, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're learning that now. You know. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been working with this girl who's eight, eight and a half ish uh, years old, and she just surprises me with how much she knows. And I mean, her parents are very, I would say, relatively strict and very like, it's this and that's it. <laughs> There's no other answer. So um, it's just amazing how much information she has being such a little girl. She's just young. So good. Well, as I was going to say, this word knowing. Um, why is knowing an ing? It's out now. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to prove you wrong, Elle, by the way. Knowing <laughs> the ing form, because this is the subject of the sentence, the most important. Knowing what I know now, um, I would have done extremely well at school. So knowing is our subject here, even though we do have a person subject. Um, this is the subject of the sentence. So, we're ha so we write the verb with ing when we start sentences like that. Um, for example, learning English is fun. Okay. Um, speaking Spanish is also fun. So there's no subject as a person in here. And so what we're doing is the verb is our subject. And so we use it with the ING form, which L, it happened the other day that we got into a deep conversation about grammar, ING endings, nouns versus verbs, and everything was complicated. <laughs> so this is my, my answer to that question. Okay. All right, so now on to the comprehension questions. Um, so how long has it been since she was at school? Is it more than 30 years or less than 30 years? No peeking. Ooh, that's a good word. No one knows that word probably. The word to peek means to look or see. You know the game peekaboo that we play with babies? Peekaboo! <laughs> like you cover your eyes and then you uncover your eyes and say peekaboo, uh, and then you okay. cover, cover your eyes again. So no one can peek, which means no one can look to find the answer. <laughs> I find the answer. Yes. What is it? More than thirty years. Why? Because she said, "I see." Uh, this person said forty years ago or something. In the yes, that's yeah. true. Thank you. So what did she not do in art and design? The second one, make, make clothes. Okay, yes. Does everyone agree with that? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> um, thank you for the very definite answer. What did she do in maths? The basics or difficult sums? The basics. Why? She says, uh, this person says so bas some basic math, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, the multiplication, subtraction, addition, division. All right, good. And which subject was her favorite, maths or PE? Uh oh. I think it's both. Both. Really? Both. Yeah, I, as far as I remember. Yeah. Boys, because, because the person is good at these. Okay. Does but anyone else have any other answers? No? Everyone's quiet? No? P P 
PE. Uh, why did he say that? They thought he said that he, uh, her, she, the person, her, <laughs> the person, the text said that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the text said that uh, her favorite thing is PE. PE. Nice. Favorite Bob, thing is. Sorry, El. Bob, yes, do you have any response? Uh, I also think this is PE. All right, da, 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 da. where is it? Where's the writing and jumping? PE was my favorite subject because Third I really class. enjoyed writing and jumping. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, <laughs> I think where's the math? Um, I loved maths, but PE was my favorite subject. So that's the small difference. Do you think there's really a difference between to love a subject and have it be your favorite subject? Mm. Uh, so it's because of love, I thought both. So I don't know the difference. All right. Well, that's okay. That's why I want to talk about it. Al, do you have any suggestions or Bob? Mm. Hmm. I think, I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> Bob, That's Bob, okay. Uh, Bob, are you thinking or not? <laughs> yes, I'm thinking. Okay. Well, I mean, I can express my opinion uh, while you two are thinking. Um, I mean, you can really enjoy a subject, but it doesn't mean that it's your favorite necessarily. But I would say it's very close to, to equal, to being the same feeling. Um, I loved art, and art was my favorite subject. Um, but then I also discovered the Spanish world and the Spanish language. And so that became my favorite, even though I still loved art. So, I mean, with art, it was a different way of creativity and, and expression. I could do, make something with my hands and show you something. With the Spanish language, I'm able to be creative in a different way in which I can talk to people in a different language. So, I mean, it's a little bit different, but I would say it's pretty similar, actually. I mean, and this is my understanding as a native speaker, so this is me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments out there? I love English, but my favorite is music. Music. Okay. See? Okay. Different yeah. language. Yeah. Bob, Bob, too, right? Bob loves English more yeah. than German, right? <laughs> 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 I think we all know that. I love so English. good. And um, so what was her, okay, which subject was her favorite? Which subject did she not like? Uh-oh, one moment. That's a different day. I think chemistry. Yeah, I think so. Final answer, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also think chemistry. Mm. Well, before we actually check that answer, I want to say to find to do this question. How many different verbs are there in the past simple? Now, I didn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. <laughs> so we'll find out both answers. Which oh, okay. subject did she not like? Um, in science, I only remember doing chemistry and love something with a Bunsen burner. I was quite scared of it. Yeah. I really don't like science in general. So it's more it's science in this case. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so um nope, that's fine. That's good as long as we understand this. So now we need to count all of these verbs. Actually, what I'll do is I think I'll read this. That way it should be easier, right? Because we'll otherwise miss some things. So I'll go line by line. So it's been about 40 years since I was at school, so I hope I can remember a few things about the different subjects. One. <laughs> right? Yeah. How about this? Yeah. Oh, has, oh. Uh, past simple, right? Yes, past simple. Okay, past simple. Okay, go ahead. Please. Why were you looking at No, 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 I thought it is only verb. Okay, past simple. Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. 
<laughs> All right. In art and design class, I remember trying to draw an object and paint it. Any words? Pass simple? No. 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 No words. I think it helped me with my creative side. Help. Helped. Very good. Okay. It got me ready for fashion college when I was older. Got and was. I yeah, got and was. I was looking at was. I was like, that's the same one, but it's still a different verb. So now we're up to four, right? Was, yeah. helped, got, was. Okay. I also loved math because I was quite good at it. Bob, your turn. <laughs> you said you love English. <laughs> but it's not a secret subject. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, cool. Bob, love it. We'll do hot. loved and was again. It's case of wow. six. Wow, I ran out of fingers on one hand. Okay. We only, no, I think we learned only the basics like subtraction, addition, division, and multiplication, and maybe something about percentages and pie charts. But I can't remember this very well. I started learned. <laughs> learned, yeah. So that's number seven. Anything else? No, 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 no. I mean, this I can't remember. Is is mm, there's this intuition feeling of the past, but it's not in the past. Okay, it's not in the past. So we have seven verbs. So PE was my favorite subject. Because I really enjoyed running and jumping. Well, we have the word was again. So now I'm a little confused because that's eight. And enjoyed. So that's nine. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost wondering if the answers, for example, because was, we've seen at least three times. Um, if they counted that as one verb. But anyway, that doesn't matter. The most important is that we're finding all of these verbs. So in science, I only remember doing chemistry in the lab, something with a Bunsen burner, but I was quite scared of it. So we have was, mm -hmm. and that's about it. And then I really didn't like science in general. Didn't is in the past. Mm -hmm. It's a shame I can't remember more knowing what I know now, I think I would have done extremely well at school. No. That's basically it. So I don't know. I lost track. Is it nine or ten? Because it was seven, eight, nine, mm, ten. Nine, ten. Yeah. Yeah. So ten, technically. I mean, if again, if we only say that was was one verb, the thing is, it doesn't specify if it's different verbs. How many uh, different verbs are there in the past tense? Oh, it did. Well, that's okay. That's not a problem. So, anyway, um, that is about it. I don't have anything else <clears throat> for us. Uh, of course, your favorite was music, Bob. I'm sorry. I just read that. <laughs> oh, I started a phone call now. Who's, who's, who's quite busy today? <laughs> All right, well, we're going to stop the recording, um, stop the PDF, whatever you want to call it, uh, because we are coming to an end. So what I need to do is talk about class on Wednesday. Class on Wednesday is going to be a business class, kind of more formal because we're talking about resignation. So I'll explain what uh, resignation is and what to do with that, okay? Um, as for that, does anyone have any other questions or anything? I don't think so. No, okay. thank you. Well, good. Well, I hope it's warm everywhere. Wisconsin <laughs> has survived the polar vortex, and it's sunny in Spain today, so all is well. Um, Elle, how did you, where are you now? Uh, still same place, but I'm going to move soon, but... Right now we cannot do because the weather, the the direction from here to Washington State is 
is just past Chicago, the, the place that got blizzard weather. <laughs> Blizz, yes. You got blizzard, yeah. right? The, blizzard. The blizzard and the, the polar vortex yeah. that yeah. shut down yeah. Wisconsin for like yeah. three days. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I can understand. Okay, but did you get a lot of cold? I mean, yeah. Okay. But I, I don't, I, I don't get, I didn't get like a minus yet. I get like 10, 8, 9, yeah, but not minus, luckily, not minus. Yeah, I know it was pretty bad, but I, I spoke to my parents yesterday and they were very happy yeah. that it's not as cold anymore, so, okay. Do, 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 you, do your family have a, have a polar? Or a polar what you, yeah, they were yeah. in the middle of it, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Everything was closed, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> so my mom worked from home, my dad owns his own store, so he went to work. A couple of days, sometimes closed early, um, but they survived. So, yeah, fine now. So very good. Well, everyone have a great Monday. All right, can go to bed soon. Uh, Bob, have a great <laughs> day and <laughs> I'll enjoy your day. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. You too. We'll see you on Wednesday. Okay. You too. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, bye. everyone. Bye. 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 -bye.